and three, two, one, action. <laughs> so hello you wonderful human of the internet and welcome to the It's First Thing in the Morning I Look Like Sh**. Let's do something about that show. Also known as I Have a New Baby. Look at this corset lacing and the fluff and the shiny and the chains at the bottom. Oh my god. Um, Black Circus reached out to me and we together kind of came up with ideas for this wonderful corset top and I wanted to prance about in it and show you it a little bit today but uh, I thought while I'm looking like I might as well chat to you about my beautiful baby and the, the process of creating it and all of those things and some various other stuff as well while I'm putting my makeup on and trying to look less like I need to hide behind sunglasses because um, people have said that we haven't really oh, 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 the light the light it burns um, people have said we haven't really had any any vlogs and things recently and um, honestly I haven't really been anywhere exciting in ages i feel like the world is still kind of crawling out of the pandemic around me like what is going on there is, there is just nothing to do so there hasn't been really any situations for vlogging um <laughs> but yeah returning to black circus and the collab and all of that god i look like a crazy ghost i look like a crazy crazy ghost my camera cannot cope with me doing makeup on it i it's one of many reasons i don't do makeup tutorials but anyway yes the uh the collab with black circus i first heard about black circus because they did a collab with victoria lovelace and made her a absolutely fantastic coat and this coat was like pvc and black and shiny and long with like fur trim on it so i obviously took a lot of inspiration from victoria lovelace's coat with with my one because just the combination of black shiny pvc and furry furry fur you you don't see often enough and i think it's such a gorgeous combination of textures that when when black circus reached out and it was kind of like do you have any ideas like we, we can do anything anything do you have any ideas um that's the kind of overwhelm i can't really deal with to be honest like there's there's too much choice and i don't know what i want but because i'd seen victoria lovelace's coat and i was like can we do something similar to that but i need a new corset that fits so we went off down a corset tangent but then i showed them um kind of inspiration pictures of a top i have that is kind of too big for me but i really love i modded it years ago and we ended up turning the corset into a corset top which is super exciting for me because corset tops never ever ever fit me off the rack i have an incredibly long torso um i'm only five six but people always think i'm taller in photos i've always had comments where people think i'm like six foot tall and it's like no i have short stumpy legs and my upper body is probably about the equivalent of somebody 5'8", five, 5'9", five, I don't know. Which means that if I get a corset top off the rack, the waistline will be like halfway up my ribs. Um, it's no good. So I finally have a corset top that fits me and I'm very excited by that. And I guess at this point I will shut up about the Black Circus so I can keep talking about it when I actually show you it. Um, and just have a bit of a general waffle at you for a minute. Um, yeah so things recently i'm amazed that i'm not sitting here in my onesie actually because if i don't know whether this is the situation in america too but in the uk and it seems like actually most of europe if not all of europe uh gas and electric prices have gone absolutely batshit and no one can afford to turn the heating on really like we've had it on a little bit like for about like 15 minutes a day just to knock the cold off the house but generally speaking this is going to be a crazy crazy freezing winter i've bought the most ridiculous ridiculous coat um that's like all faux fur and it's it's just huge and it's it's a crazy looking thing actually i'll tell you what i'll show you it it's um, <laughs> it's a crazy looking thing with the hood up i look particularly nuts but i i love it i love it and i'm fully prepared to basically live in this coat once the temperatures really really drop so um and like the, the government suggestions for this kind of thing aren't anything to do with like oh let's let's make living cheaper in some kind of way or let's like really put put the kibosh on these energy companies because the energy companies are making huge profits it's not like you know they're broke and they're past they've they've got to like 
charge you more. They're making huge profits. What the fuck is going on? So instead of dealing with that, the government are like, oh, we'll we'll have designated warm spaces in. Um, th this is so random. Just getting political in the, in the middle of like putting my makeup on, but I suppose you probably know what you're in for with me by now. Um, yeah, designated warm spaces. So like libraries and stuff and community halls that they're, they're going to kind of make those into warm spaces so instead of like living in your home you're essentially supposed to be basically homeless for the majority of the day and just mill around in your local library so you don't freeze to death um is basically the, the conservative government's uh, solution to this <sighs> okay so anyway i'll shut up about that now because it's, it's probably quite tedious and a bit political but um so that's, that's going to be this winter. It's, it's going to be interesting. So other things, <laughs> other things that have been going on. This weekend I went to my brother's birthday party, which was um, Back to the Future themed. And this was my outfit. I decided to just go futuristic. I very nearly went kind of, um, I guess, Victorian, you know, in the third Back to the Future movie where they go back to the Wild West. I thought about going like that and actually most of my family did kind of go as cowboys as some description because I guess it's like the easiest costume to go for and people were being a bit lazy. So, um, so I nearly went in my kind of Victorian with my hoop skirt and all of this but then at the last minute futuristic really appealed to me um, so I went futuristic with all my glowy stuff and I stumbled across Levy Wand um, videos on TikTok recently um, they're literally this, this wand that kind of floats in a vertical position and you can make it, you can make it look like it's floating and it can glow and it's amazing. And I was like, I, I was immediately like, I need one of these things, but it turns out they, they cost about 200 pounds for a de for a real one. Basically anything that's going to work, it costs about 200 pounds. I was like, that's a lot. Uh, so I bought a cheap one off eBay and it, it doesn't work. I mean, it glows and everything, but it doesn't balance right. So I, I'm going to have to save up for the real one. But I'm really obsessed with the idea of, of getting this Levy wand and having it having it look good. It looks just so fun to just dance in the dark in the garden with this this glowing one. And, ah, I really, really want one. I really do. Um, so that's that's the thing that I was kind of like bouncing around the bathroom with. And it's amazing. I didn't trash anything while I was doing that. Um, so anyway, the other thing, the other thing that I wanted to show you before I get to the black circus beautiful beautiful top of beautifulness is something that I was gifted recently I've been dying to use these I thought it might be fun to play with these on camera um face lace are a company that I've worn some of these in videos before they do these shiny like face stickers this is just one of their many designs and I wore some for the back to the future party for my futuristic look I did wear some face lace and just dude the amount it speeds up putting on makeup is ridiculous but the ones i wanted to play with today i've got two sets of these now because they sent me one and then i was like oh my god that's gonna look bomb i kind of want a spare pair for halloween in case you sell out i'm just gonna grab a spare pair for halloween because the amazing thing is just how little makeup you actually have to do but i've never used this design before so um Hmm. Kind of like trying to work out what the fuck I'm going to do with them by kind of working it out like this. Okay, so I've just separated like the top from the bottom so I can apply them a bit more accurate to my eye shape. I'm hoping this wasn't a huge mistake. Oh my god, I'm going to love this. I'm going to love this when it's on. Wow. Okay, this is why I wanted to practice with these before Halloween because I am really wishing I'd done some colourful eyeshadow underneath here and now my dumbass is having to colour around the design and I'm gonna get powder on it and it's not gonna look pristine so yeah, yay for practice.
oh it's on my face and i really like it the comfort factor up top up top is really comfortable down below you're kind of a fool if you put it as close to your eye as i do because it does kind of paralyze your face and um, you can feel it it makes it really stiff but you do get used to it i did have them quite close to my eye again on Saturday at the party and I didn't really feel it after a while it was it was completely comfortable after a while I will say taking them off though you don't notice that it feels uncomfortable but when you take them off it's like because oh, your skin just is able to breathe and all the like the sweaty bits are like oh, this is so nice but um I really like that now it just needs some lipstick I think <gasps> Okay, I am done, Anna. Oh my god, I love this design. This is their Thorn Star design. Love a good pun like that. <laughs> and um, coloured in, especially. I feel like it's so pretty. I haven't even done a very neat job of colouring it in. I don't know if you can tell from there, but it's it's a bit of a botch job. But um, it's looking cute anyway with my hair. So I guess I'm going to go and get dressed, and then we will start talking about this corset top at last. And three, two, one, action. <laughs> and I'm back feeling fancier than I have felt in a really long time like say there has been so little going on in my city since the pandemic started I haven't really had many excuses to feel super fancy and today I feel super fancy so here is the corset top on it's a shame that black is merging into black and you can't see this wonderful bat wing kind of collar going on over here because it's rather spectacular and it's very furry and lovely and um, something I have to say about this corset that I love is the fact that it's PVC, but I'll show you the inside of it. It's lined really, really, really well. It's got like a proper corset lining. It's very heavy weight and kind of properly made. So it's not, you know, normal like cheap PVC tops when it's literally just PVC basically against your skin with that really thin backing. And you can just ply it between your fingers because it's, it's just PVC. So when you sweat, it doesn't soak into anything. It just clings there. I kind of have this autistic thing, honestly, about wearing PVC now because I, I'm sure I've spoken about this before, but I went to a really sweaty club night wearing PVC when I was like about 20 years old or something. And I got so sweaty under there that when I stepped out into this ice cold night, the sweat just froze against my boobs and it was the most horrible feeling. And ever since, whenever I look at like a thin PVC top or I try and put it on, I'm just flashback to having like frozen sweat boobs <laughs> and it just grosses me the fuck out. Whereas this, like, obviously you get sweaty because it's PVC, but it kind of, it's got like enough lining that it soaks in and you don't, you don't feel it so badly. It's much less horrible than normal PVC because I was I was thinking this about Victoria Lovelace's coat that again it looks like I've obviously I've not touched it I've not tried it on I don't know but it looks like it's properly padded and well lined and I have always wanted honestly a PVC trench coat but you look at most of them and it you can tell it's just just PVC with no lining and you're thinking a trench coat like in winter the sweat, because I don't know what it is, even if you're cold, PVC makes you sweat. So the sweat that's going to be in there, like you need it lined and stuff. So maybe one day I will try and hit up Black Circus for a some kind of PVC trench coat. Because I love, although I don't like the Underworld movies, I do love, is it Celine? Is that her name? Celine, the, you know, the main character. I love her aesthetic with the long trench coats and everything shiny and black. My God, she must have been so uncomfortable in that movie. But it's a beautiful aesthetic. And The Matrix too, with the long like PVC trench coats and everything. It's so pretty. But anyway, onwards to this and what I have stuck it with. So I have tried it with three kind of outfits today. So the first one is kind of the basic thing that I first came up with and was like, okay, let's just try it with some shiny leggings. And I quite like it with shiny leggings and big boots, but my butt is just not really a good enough butt to rock the whole all PVC, all tight. Like I, I just don't have a good butt. And no amount of gorgeous chains hanging over my butt is gonna make it look like a good butt, I'm afraid. It doesn't matter how big or how small I am, I just don't have a big, and I just don't have a good butt. So, um, so I kind of like this outfit, but at the same time, I'm always like, yeah, but my butt is letting me down right now. I spend too much time sitting on it and no time working it out. And you can tell. Um, <laughs> so that was the first outfit I tried it with and it was quite nice, but I wasn't totally feeling it. 
So the next outfit I tried it with was a long skirt that I got many, many, many years ago. I've, this is literally from the 90s, this skirt by Laughing Vampire. I don't think the brand Laughing Vampire exists anymore, um, but I tried it with some stripy tights and things. I love the slits down the side of this skirt that you can, you've kind of got this sexy little glint of, of leg and things, and I like that, and it hides my butt but shows my leg and I'm much happier with my leg than my butt. So I liked that and I feel like it's got kind of more of a sort of 90s, more gothy, slightly aesthetic. Um, I really, really liked this outfit together with it because I, ju I just love the vibe of this thing. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And then the final outfit, I'm just jumping through these outfits, but I will talk a little bit more about the, the corset and the detailing on it in a minute, but I just wanted to show you what it could do first. So the final outfit I tried it with was the one I was like, okay, this is what I'm still wearing right now because I'm like, this is gorgeous. And this is may have to be my next going out outfit. Um, I tried it with a little tiny skirt that again, I've had this since about 2008 or something and I feel like Harley Quinn meets some kind of Monster High doll <laughs> and I'm really loving it. So uh, yeah, with a little skirt again, like it just, it gives a bit more of a silhouette and kind of hides my butt a little bit and, and or gives me kind of a cute like flared out butt because of the skirt. What, oh, uh, this video, I'm, I just sound like I'm really fixated on my butt and maybe I am, I don't know, but um, <laughs> I think it's because of like since gaining weight in recovery I haven't really paraded around in outfits that much and looked at things and now I'm having to look at things and go oh my butt so um, <laughs> so that's why I'm just just shut up okay no more butt talk um <laughs> but uh, yeah I really liked I really like this outfit with the spiderweb tights and big clunky boots and the only pop of colors really being my hair and my makeup I do quite like to kind of mix and mingle bits of color I am forever regretful that I didn't get those oh what are they called what is the brand called I'm blanking on the brand but there is a brand that does amazing stompy boots and they did some with like orange pumpkins down the front. They did these, I think they call them their June boots. Can't remember the brand, but I remember the boots are called June boots and they do them in like a bunch of different colors. They did some Halloween ones and I, then they, they said, we're not doing these anymore. This is the last drop ever. And I thought about it and I could have bought them. And I was like, no, you don't need more boots. Nothing haunts you more than the things you don't buy because um, those boots would look so cute with this outfit and I don't have them so but I do quite I, I always quite like the kind of black on black aesthetic but just with like ragingly colourful hair and makeup and I'm so much happier now that my hair is back to being colourful. But anyway, this is completely off topic. So back to the corset. It was really, really interesting. I've never I've never like done this process with anyone before with like batting back and forth ideas for a garment and seeing like their little drawings of things that I'd suggested was really really interesting because my first my first kind of detail things were I would love some spikes on the hips so we have some spikes on the hips the chain oh my god you, you can't I've, I've showed you the, <laughs> I'm not gonna try and get all of me in frame right now but there are some spikes on the hips I kind of the spikes are a little bit more subtle than I thought they were going to be but I think the trouble with really big spikes is that they can kind of droop and then it, it just doesn't look right so the spikes are kind of there and they're in a good place because I've seen some spiky corsets and that they're like really around the waist and I'm like that is gorgeous but kind of how do you get into it because you, you know you kind of have to kind of clench everything round to kind of get in there a little bit it's like how do you get in if there's really big spikes everywhere so these spikes are like wearable spikes and you can just about feel them they're actually really tactile and nice and the chain detail around the bottom the chain detail around the bottom and drooping off the off the back of the bottom I really really love that it's a much heavier duty chain than I was expecting which I love actually that when I was thinking chain detail I mostly was thinking of like a lot of kind of punk rave garments and things that have that really delicate chain hanging off them. And honestly, I'm so glad that this is heavy duty chain because whenever I get some kind of punk rave piece with delicate chaining on it, I swear to God, I break that shit within five minutes. <laughs> like usually there's a lot of it. So you can lose like a couple of bits and it's not the end of the world, but I break it immediately. It catches on door handles and it just just ping it just goes whereas this stuff being really quite heavy duty I don't know if I can show you from here but it's quite heavy duty 
and hanging down the back it's quite heavy duty you can it really like rattles in a really satisfying way so i love that i'm kind of on the fence about am i glad i went for a corset top or would it have been better to go for a more traditional like corset without the top bit because a corset would have been more versatile like i could have worn it over dresses and stuff but when i was looking for things to put with this for this video it did really strike me dude you have too many tops and almost no bottoms because i'm always when i'm like shopping for clothes like i generally have youtube in mind because there's not that much to do goth wise anymore in my city it's like okay there's no point having a gorgeous outfit or a gorgeous skirt because when am i gonna wear it when who's gonna see it when am i gonna wear it whereas tops and dresses and things like that i'm like okay i can wear that for youtube so i have like a huge amount of tops and dresses and really not that many bottoms so i was kind of a little bit stuck for things to to put with this and i'm thinking okay i need to i need to go bottom bottom shopping <laughs> um and what i think would look really amazing with this top actually would be just a long pvc skirt just a long like probably just basically kind of fairly a-line pvc pvc skirt like i bought for one of my exes I, I used to have such a thing like in the 90s slash early 2000s you used to get boys wearing long pvc skirts and fishnets quite a lot and I oh that was so my thing for a long time like whenever I dated a guy who I thought could get away with like a PVC skirt I would buy him a PVC skirt <laughs> which uh I I feel like if if the the genders were reversed I feel like that would sound really controlling you know being like oh I have such a fetish for like women in such and such an outfit I'm gonna buy her it and make her wear it it's a little bit of a controlling thing to do but genuine I <laughs> I wouldn't force them into it. I'd just be like, I think this would really look good on you. So, um, yeah. So, and I feel like that would look good with, with this. It would kind of be a bit of a sort of Morgoth flashback aesthetic and very shiny and very slick. And one more time, my butt would not look that bad in it. As bad as like kind of tight, tight trousers. So, yeah, that would be cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, going for a PVC, a, a corset top over a corset. I do love the fact that I have this collar and this collar is standing up so effortlessly as well that I do have other things with standy uppy collars and I've got one that's got like wires in it's like mesh and it's got wires in every time you wear it you have to like intricately bend it into place and if you if you move a muscle it sags so every time I like make a video in that kind of evil queen collar I have with the lace and the wire I'm so just rigid because I don't dare move or it's gonna sag whereas this this is just standing this like you, you flop it and it just pops back up again it's like it's nice and it moves in the wind and in the breeze but it it stays and I, i'm just feeling it now i think there may be some corset boning in there actually which is like flexible but kind of pops it up and that is such a good idea and i love the fact that it's furry i just love these furry details here i should have like I don't have a white background but if I was against a white background that would look so much better so I apologize to Black Circus for not having the perfect background for this beautiful collar but it's so pretty there um and yeah the final thing I guess to say the sizing of this corset I feel so incredibly lucky that I can still get into it because we the whole of because this is like handmade and everything we were batting backwards and forwards ideas and neither of us wanted to be in a rush like we knew you know we've, we've both got a lot of things on our on our plates and we will do this like when we have time to do this so it's it's been quite a long process and that's cool because it means that there's been no pressure on me to be like right we need a video now you know which you know sometimes it can feel a bit like that if you have someone who's sent you something and it's like make a video with you you can feel so pressured to like okay i've got to get on with this right now i've got to film if i feel like crap i've got to film and i've got to make a video and, blah, 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 and i might not be feeling it whereas black circus have been so lovely and patient and it's been like just yeah no time limit just whenever you feel like doing it do it so that's been really good and i've been able to do do this on a day when i actually feel like doing it which is lovely um but that meant that the whole process has been quite long and obviously with the whole ed recovery thing i have gained quite a lot of weight <laughs> since um giving them my measurements so i gave them my measurements and at the time i was thinking okay i've gained some weight i'm probably going to maintain here right this is like you know um no my body wasn't having it my body was like no we're not done yet so and i felt so bad because it, it was about a month later and i knew like i'd seen pictures of the corset in progress and i was thinking 
okay it's half made and I've gained so much weight and it's probably not going to fit um and then I took my measurements again and actually it wasn't too bad I think it's probably going to fit but by the time it got here I'd like gained more weight and I was like okay it's never going to fit this is going to be so embarrassing what am I going to do they made me this gorgeous thing it's going to be gorgeous and I'm not going to get into it um however miraculously I can get into it and I think that is largely because of the fact that we had designed it with various um slits and lacing in various places so obviously there's a bit of lacing here I've unlaced the top part because this is the part where it's the tightest weirdly is my chest um which is weird because I feel like I've gained more around my stomach than here like I, I never really grow boobs boobs are not something I grow but um I mean, and it kind of looks like they're going on at the moment because it's quite tight here <laughs> but um yeah so I was able to unlace that a little bit and get into it and then down the back has got a nice long slit so the weird thing it's not as tight around the waist as I was expecting it to be that would be like my, my one tiny criticism is that it doesn't cinch me as much as I was hoping and I have tried wearing it over a corset that really cinches me just to like give more of an outline but that was just bending this boning and everything out of shape and it it didn't look right it was puckering the pvc so I was like okay let's let's, mm, let's not ruin it um so wearing it over a corset I can't do so it doesn't give me a super 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 corseted outline um but I don't like I don't know enough about corset tops as to whether because you're building in like the whole shape of the top maybe it's very difficult to do that and maybe that is kind of the limitation of, of not cinching my waist super tight um but uh yeah I love it I love it it's very very shiny it's very very shiny and it's so well lined and I don't feel sweaty in here and that is so nice so uh thank you very much to Black Circus for building me the little fluffy shiny thing of my dreams I love it very much so I will leave their details below and I'm just jumping in here because I completely forgot to tell you what black circus actually are and are about but basically if you fancy having something really cool custom made whether you have a solid concept that you've doodled out in mind or whether you just have kind of a vague like oh I would love these certain ideas together but I need artistic input either way you can contact black circus and they've made a lot of really interesting things including like a wedding dress that looks really beautiful and really just like spooky um i would check their website out if you are a bit of a like you like doodling kind of outlines of, of of little gothic clothing but you don't sew which is the kind of thing i do um and uh it's been fun doing this and i could see myself doing it again in future so uh yeah check them out and yeah also face lace because of all of this stuff like face lace have not told me to like make a video or anything like that but i just thought dude People need to know about this because they're amazing. The amount of, of intricacy going on here and the fact that I barely had to do any of it is brilliant because like graphic liner looks like this. I see people doing them and I'm like, that is amazing, but I couldn't. My hands are like, Bleh. so um, yeah, graphic liner looks not happening for me. So um, thank you very much to Face Lace for uh, showing me this thing. This may have to be something I do for Halloween because oh my god I do I feel like Harley Quinn meets a little monster high doll and I'm living for it it's fantastic and um, anyway the doorbell is about to go with the shopping so I'm about to terrify a, <laughs> a supermarket delivery guy so uh, I guess I will shut up and go away but yeah all the details for Black Circus and all of that are going to be below. A huge, huge, huge thank you to Black Circus and to Face Lace for the things in this video that are fantastic. And uh, yeah, thank you to you guys for tolerating my waffling and my butt talk and <laughs> my weird looking morning face. So with that said, I'm going to shut up and go away. Oh, I'm loving being orange again. I really am. I'm really loving it. But uh, anyway, thanks for tolerating me. Bye-bye. <laughs>